Welcome back to lesson 23. In this lesson, I will show you how to create level based measures. A level based measure is a column whose values are always calculated to a specific level of aggregation. The calculation of this measure is independent of the query grain and always uses the aggregation grain of the logical column. Level based measures allow for data to be retained at multiple levels of aggregation and the query grain and the level based column grain will also be populated at the same time with one single query it allows for creating measures and that is percentages if you choose that are calculated by taking some measure and dividing it by a level based measure in this set of steps you will create level based measures that calculate total dollars at various levels in the product hierarchy and then use a level based measure to create a share measure to create level based measures and a share measure you perform the following steps you open the repository in offline mode create level based measures create a share measure and test your work let's get started the first step is to open the repository in offline mode. Return to the administration tool, which should still be open. If not, select Start, Programs, Oracle Business Intelligence, and Administration tool. Start, All Programs, Oracle Business Intelligence, and then you can open it for Administration tool. In my case, the Administration tool was already opened. So we will go ahead and open the repository in offline mode. And then we'll click open offline. And then we'll choose paint.rpd open. And we'll type in the password admin123, remembering that the first letter is uppercase. Next, we'll create a level based measure. In the business mode and mapping layer, expand the paint subject area. And then right click on the fact table, new object, then choose logical column to open the logical column dialog box. On the general tab, enter product total revenue. We'll click column source. Select derived from existing columns using an expression. Open the expression builder. In the expression builder, add logical tables, fact, and then choose dollars. Recall that the dollars column already has a default aggregation rule of SAM. We will click OK to close the expression builder. Then we'll click on levels. For the H2 product logical dimension, select product totals. From the logical level drop down list to specify that this measure should be calculated at the grand total level in the product hierarchy. Click OK to close the logical column dialog box. The product total revenue measure appears in the product total level of the H2 product logical dimension and the fact logical fact table. Expose the new column to users by dragging the product total revenue to the base facts presentation table in the paint subject area in the presentation layer. You can drag the columns from either the H2 product or from the fact table. Which option you choose is entirely up to you. Is entirely up to you. The next step is to create a share measure. In the business model and mapping layer, right click on the fact table and select new object 
logical column to open the logical column dialog box. On the general tab, name the logical column product share. On the column source tab, select derived from existing columns using an expression and open the expression builder. In the expression builder, select functions, mathematical functions, round. Click insert selected item. The function appears in the edit box. Click source number in the formula. Enter 100 times, followed by a space. Insert logical tables, fact dollars. Then using the toolbar, click the division button, another set of angle brackets appears. Click the expression, insert logical tables, fact, product total, revenue. Recall that this is the total revenue for the hierarchy. Click between the last set of angle brackets and enter 1. This represents the number of digits of precision which should, which, with which to round the integer. We will check our work and make sure that everything looks correctly mathematically as well as our intent of rounding the share that we are creating. This share measure will allow you to run an analysis that shows how revenue of a specific product compares to total revenue for all products. Click OK to close the expression builder. The formula is visible in the logical column dialog box. Click OK to close the logical column dialog box. The product share column is added to the business model. You will notice that a typographical error was made when typing in the name for the newly created share. So to correct the typo, you double click on the product share, go to general tab and insert the missing letter C and click OK. Next, you add the product share measure to the fact table in the presentation layer. We we'll save the repository and check consistency. We should receive no errors, warnings, or best practice violations. Consistency check didn't find any errors, warnings, or best practice violations. You click OK. Close the repository. The next step is to test your work. Return to Fusion Middleware Control Enterprise Manager and load the paint repository. If you need help, review steps from earlier in this lab. Return to Oracle Business Intelligence, which should still be open, and sign in. Create an analysis to test the level base and share measures. From the product table, you will pick product. From the fact table, you will pick dollars, product type revenue, and product share. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to showing you more as we go along in this course.